Welcome back to the Crypto Report, everybody. I am Crypto Kip, and I want to talk to you guys about two big things happening for Crypto.com and Kronos. We're going to get into it, guys. If you like this content and you want more updates surrounding Crypto.com and Crow and the Crow ecosystem, follow us, subscribe to the channel, tap that like button. Let's just go ahead and get right into it, guys. So today, Bitcoin is just under $70,000, actually doing very well right now after a little bit of a slump dipping down to 60K. Bitcoin has come up to $69,000. And today, what we are seeing is KuCoin way, way down right now, way down right now. Now, this is something that I believe is bullish for Crypto.com's CrowCoin and the Crypto.com exchange. KuCoin is a very large exchange in the crypto space, and some people right now are fleeing off of that exchange. I think that it's good to have some protections in place and to make sure that you're diversified into a variety of exchanges, into DeFi, maybe even in cold storage. Um, so certainly you don't want to have all your eggs in one basket. And right now, I know people are panicking about KuCoin uh, on some of this news, and we're going to talk about it in a second. But I do think this is going to fare well for Crypto.com, as they're probably going to get more inflows into their exchange, especially from US users. And US users weren't even technically supposed to be using KuCoin. If you had to use it, you were using it through a VPN. Um, but Crypto.com, you can certainly use their app. So I think this could fare very well in bringing more users to potentially Crypto.com. Maybe it brings more users to Binance even. But right now, Crypto.com is at a $3.8 billion market cap. And the CEO is doing just fine. He has no prison time under his belt, nothing like that. In the meantime, what are the other competitors out there to KuCoin? Well, it's Binance, obviously the world's largest exchange, and their CEO has legal trouble. You also look at another exchange out there that is actually doing very well, OKX, uh, who we have no, you know, no crazy breaking news stories about, but they have been doing very well. They have their own chain as well that's been rather successful. We watched this token climb up very well. So clearly, there is room for more growth from these exchanges. Now, the big story is this. The U.S. Uh, Justice Department charged KuCoin crypto exchange with anti-money laundering failures. In fact, the CFTC and the DOJ both are coming after KuCoin. And so people are panicked right now. But I want to come out, go on a limb and say, I do not think this is some kind of black swan event that is going to crash the crypto market. However, it is certainly affecting the KuCoin shares price. And this might fare well again for Crypto.com. So that's the big story there. And I do think that more users are going to be increasingly coming to Crypto.com, not only due to the advertising they have, but due to some of the other failures of some exchanges out there and to the success with the regulatory compliance that Crypto.com has had. They have a CFTC approved product. Meanwhile, KuCoin's getting attacked by the CFTC. A clear distinction there. I think this fare is very bullish for Crypto.com. Now, I want to highlight one other thing for you guys within the Kronos ecosystem. Now, this is a little more controversial as of late. I know some people are pretty sensitive to the meme coin gambling that's been going on on Kronos, and I have been participating in it. But I want to talk about something really quick and why this meme coin ecosystem is significant, whether you want to participate or not. And most of you guys honestly shouldn't even participate because at the end of the day, meme coins are exactly that. They are gambling. It is only for the faint of heart. These are next level plays and plays that maybe nobody should even even be involved in, to be honest with you, because these are tough, tricky. Most people lose. You have to acknowledge that. But I also want to acknowledge this. The Solana ecosystem is up here on CoinMarketCap. How did this happen? How did Solana's ecosystem get up to the top of these charts? Well, how did memes get up here? How did gaming get up here? How did AI get up here? Let's talk a little bit about this real quick. So when you look at Solana, what you're going to see is Jupiter is one of the largest DEXs on the exchange. Other than that, what are some of the top tokens? You have Dog with Hat, you have Bonk. So looking at some of the top plays here, you have a couple meme tokens. You also have uh, Render, which I think is an AI play. I think it's an AI play. Uh, Chainlink, which is not really just a Solana specific token. Obviously, Tether's not. So the top plays here uh, are... Some of them are memes, and one of them is a DEX. Well, how did this DEX all of a sudden get more trading volume than any other Ethereum DEX? Jupiter has so much trading volume going on right now that it's insane. And why did that happen? The answer is because of some of the meme coin mania that occurred, starting with Bonk, really. And then we had Dog with Hat, and now we have all these others like the Book of Meme, Slurf that everybody's talking about. All these crazy things. And if you do not like these things, then please share it in the comments down below and continue to give me your honest feedback. And I do read my comments, guys, and I appreciate all the feedback. 
So I'm going to try to speak differently about these and more of a matter of fact as opposed to some like kind of meme coin junkie because that's not at all the goal here, guys. The goal is to kind of analyze this market and see what made the Solana ecosystem successful and what could help get the Kronos ecosystem to the next level. And this meme coin conversation is certainly relevant. And it kind of goes back to the bonk idea. The reason that Jupiter's exchange volume has been so incredible is because of the degenerate meme coin gambling that's been occurring on Solana. And whether you like that or not, it is part of the reason that Solana has been ripping. Definitely an argument to be made. Also an argument to be made was, well, Solana was a top 10 coin in the last bull market. No, Solana just came back from being dead. And maybe this would have happened without the memes. Maybe, maybe. But arguably, maybe not. Maybe not. Certainly, Solana has gotten a lot more attention from people and use myself as an example. I downloaded Solana because I wanted to look at what was going on on the chain. Why? Because of the attention that was going on with the memes, not because I necessarily even wanted the memes. Actually, I was originally in Solana investing in Jupiter. Oh, well, not Jupiter, but uh, Radium. And I was even looking at some of the other DEXs and DAPs within that. Orca, uh, I was playing with those. And I did dabble with some of the Solana memes. But there's no doubt that this is certainly significant. And the fact that Solana is, because it's so hot right now, is essentially getting a free advertisement from CoinMarketCap, the number one place that people go to check the markets, really, uh, that's pretty huge. So how can we get something like that on Kronos? And is it going to happen? And is it happening? Well, I want to remind you guys, remember, from the bottom to the top, Kronos so far has only come up to the top about 300%. And you look at the success that Solana has had, Solana from the bottom to the top has come up 2,400%. So how does Kronos intend and how could Kronos start to replicate this? Well, today the Kronos chain had a live AMA and they had a lot of folks in attendance because what was going on was Minted Network, uh, Corgi Eye Club, the Kronos Crow, the Troll Coin team, uh, and the Croge Coin team came out and they got together and they did an AMA with the Kronos team. The Kronos chain is actually trying to support this meme coin ecosystem because I believe that the Kronos team sees what happened with the Solana ecosystem, sees what's happening with the meme coin mania, and realizes that the fact that Jupiter's trading volume is so high is likely because of meme coin madness and people were chasing memes and using these exchanges to buy meme tokens. And so when you look at the Minted Network, which is a NFT platform within Kronos, and you look at VVS Finance, which is one of the largest DEXs within Kronos, these guys are trying to support this meme coin ecosystem. Look at everything going on, even on their meme mania is the banner. This is the largest DEX on Kronos. Why do you think they're doing this? They're doing this because they want more activity on the chain. In fact, in the interview today, or in this AMA today, Minted Network announced that they launched a launch pad, not only for meme tokens to get launched, but for actual utility projects, even if somebody has anything legitimate. So what's going on is very interesting and significant. And if people are wondering why I'm talking about these degenerate-like plays and taking these crazy chances on some of these meme coins, this is why I'm doing it. This is my personal investing strategy. And perhaps maybe I shouldn't be sharing so much of the detail with the audience because I do know that there are some people that if I talk about something, they're going to go and buy it. And the truth is, is that when we talk about things on this channel and when you're buying crypto in general, majority of people are not going to be successful in taking profit. I don't even know if it's majority. A lot of people are not going to be successful in taking profit. So what I want to urge to you guys with anything, whether you're buying the minted token or or a meme token that's launched off of Minted, or VVS Finance itself, or anything, guys, even Crow or Solana, take profits on the way up. If if you were buying Solana over here and you had a 2,400% run, well, you should probably take profits on the way up. My partner on this channel, Black Sea, has been doing a spectacular job of doing so. And, you know, that's exactly what you should be doing, whether you're buying actual utility tokens or just silly little memes. But the reason I've been talking about this is because it's certainly something significant that's happening within the Kronos space. There's no doubt about it. In fact, it's so significant that even Chris Marsliak, the CEO of Crypto.com, the CEO of Crypto.com, the most regulatory compliant exchange on planet Earth, came out and said, calling all mint heads, memed, 
make your own meme tool for the Kronos chain. He's prom he's promoting it, guys. Why? Why would he be doing that? Because there's undeniable growth happening with these tokens. And it's also undeniable that meme coins are extremely risky and not for the faint of heart. There's a new one that came out recently, Chucky. I'm not buying it. I haven't bought it. I don't know. I'm kind of memed out, to be honest with you guys right now. I'm holding my positions. Uh, you know, I don't really want to get crazy with these things. This has already been crazy enough, kind of looking back at the past couple days and some of the videos we've done. I'm wondering, are meme coins good for Kronos or are they not? And in the end, I actually ended up putting out a poll on Twitter and you guys should go to my Twitter and go ahead and check it out uh, and see right here, this poll I put out and I'm asking the question, are memes good for Kronos Chain? You can find me at CryptoKip Tweets. I genuinely want your feedback, fam. I genuinely want to hear. We had some comments in the comment section, a couple thumbs up on some of the comments saying that they don't really like the direction that I personally was headed with some of these meme coin picks. I understand that. And I, I get where you're coming from. And I respect that opinion. Um, and I also want to kind of lean a little bit away from some of the memes based on some of that comment, because I do think that these are extremely risky. And I can understand where somebody might think that it's even irresponsible to talk about them. I could understand that point of view. But it is also undeniable that there is seriously something huge going on with the Kronos chain, more volume on VVS than it's had in a very long time. And that in itself is good for Kronos. But I wanna know from you, who cares what I have to say? What do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. Are memes good for Kronos chain or are they not? Let me know in the comments down below. Check me out on Twitter and let me know your honest feedback and leave me a comment on Twitter as well. I'm very curious what your opinion is on this, guys. Regardless of any of that, there's a lot of activity going on on Kronos right now. There is craziness going on with KuCoin that could bring more volume to the crypto.com exchange. I am so bullish on KroCoin. I do believe that it's going to go to 2 to $5 in this next bull cycle, especially as we see the news with KroCoin. Uh, KuCoin going down and potentially more users coming to crypto.com now, especially with this awesome excitement that's going on in the Kronos chain, whether you like it or not, for the meme coin mania, which could turn into also altcoin mania, on the Kronos ecosystem. Things are happening. It's proving to be bullish for Crow. And I think it's only a matter of time before Crow absolutely rips upward to the moon at some point in this bull cycle. In the meantime, guys, if you're looking for price action on Crow, don't be surprised if we dabble around this 12 cent level. We recently hit a high of about 18 cents. At any moment, we could be ripping back upward uh, and getting to 20, 30, 40 cents in no time. And so I'm bullish. On Bitcoin, I'm bullish on altcoins. I'm bullish on some meme tokens, but if you're buying memes, guys, and maybe you just shouldn't, but if you are, you better be taking profits on the way up, guys, because that's the name of the game. That's all I got in this one, guys. I am CryptoKip. This is the Crypto Report. I hope you appreciated this video, guys. I really do genuinely care about your opinion, so please leave me your feedback in the comments down below. As you can see, I certainly take your feedback to heart every single day, and I want you guys to keep that up. Thank you so much for watching. I'm CryptoKip. This is the Crypto Report. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel for more content, and as always, guys, you got to remember to DCA HODL, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, everybody. Have a great night. Two videos right here if you want to check them out. Peace, y'all. See ya.